All right, guys, this is a test for my microphone. Um, trying out the DRZ today. Go for a little ride. So, oh shit, if I can get on. <laughs> for a bit of a tall bike. I just bought new gloves are medium. I think the fingers might be a little a little short. So yeah, I've had this GoPro 7 since they came out. And shortly after I bought the mic adapter. And um I tried it a couple of times. I didn't have a decent mic. And especially on like the Melville Caves trip I'd done with my brother, I thought I had the mic set up, working nicely at home. And it wasn't until I got back from the trip that I found out I lost sound like probably bloody half an hour into the trip. And then I realized later on I had the wrong plug if you notice some of them have got two rings and some have got three apparently you need a two ring job for uh, the GoPro so yeah lucky on that trip I had two cameras and I was able to salvage some video by using uh, the sound from my other camera worked out alright actually Yeah, so I've had this DRZ for a little while. I bought it as a project during COVID. I bought it as a uh, seized bike. Seized up bike it was. It dropped the rod. This guy didn't uh, check the oil. And yeah, so the saving grace about the motor was the head was like new. If it wasn't for that, um, it would have been very, very expensive, which it's not cheap to build a new motor. I end up doing I end up doing a full rebuild on the motor. Every bearing, every seal has been changed. I've changed the whole crankshaft to a hot rods one from America. Uh, new vertex piston and rings, new cam chain. I end up getting a second hand barrel. Um, yeah, like I said, I took a couple of valves out of the head, and they were like brand new, so it'd been done up before. And apart from that, I've done the forks, new seals, new oil. I've done swing arm, uh, shocker linkage bearings, all that, that was all rat shit. It's had a pretty hard life, this bike. Yeah, so like about probably about eight months later, I finally got it registered. And first ride I took it for, I realised something else was wrong. So as you seen in one of my videos, I was rebuilding a carburetor <coughs> that was off this bike. And um, yeah, that was quite expensive. That was like six hundred and thirty dollars. That was an expense I did not need. And you know, I just couldn't find a carby anywhere. And bugger me, one just came up on Facebook the other day. Uh, 200 bucks. But uh, that's, that's what happens. As soon as you uh, spend a fortune on something, you find something else comes up. So in total, since full rebuild, I've done 438 k's. My first ride, I did did a few little rides around town. Uh, nothing major. And then one weekend we went to Skipton, which is about an hour from Ballarat. So we went from there, Ballarat, and then back to Rokewood. About a 285k trip. And um, yeah, petrol was a bit of an issue. Looks like a speed camera down here. These guys are always sitting down here. 
Not that I'm speeding. Yeah, so um, when I first filled up, I did. I uh, filled up at 100 k's and I'd used 5 litres. And uh, then I filled up. I made it all the way back home again without filling up. And uh, when I filled up, I put 9, no, 8, about 8 litres in, which means I had about a litre left. So, yeah, so. Straight away I come home and I've ordered a safari tank, which is 17 litre. <coughs> now once the bike's tuned right, I should get pretty much over 400 k's out of that. And uh, the good thing about it is it's going to be a transparency one, so I'll be able to see how much fuel is in that tank. Don't have to worry about stopping and undoing the cap. <coughs> oh. Cold air has gone straight down my lungs, I'm bloody coughing my guts. Yes, uh, yeah, so another thing I've got to order is a new set of springs for the shockers. I find with these ones, the standard ones are a bit, well they sag. When you hit the brakes, it just nose dives. Now, um, I know my brother's bike doesn't do it. Maybe his has been set up or something. Or well, this one's just been abused the shit out of. So yeah, really, this is just a little uh, trial of my microphone. I don't know, in my head it sounds... Well, in my helmet, it sounds very, I don't know, muffled. <clears throat> yeah, so this is going to be my lightweight adventure bike. I'm still going to set it up with panniers and stuff. And uh, hopefully I'm planning on doing a trip to the high country next year. We might be a bit late this year. Yes, you still got some go. Yes, yeah, so I'm running a 15, 1544 tooth sprocket. Let's get past this truck. <coughs> Doesn't sit too bad on the highway. Um, I feel like it's still up in the revs a touch. So I've got to order the 42 two for the back. <clears throat> Hopefully that'll um, bring the speed up about 5Ks to get me up to 100 where it'll sit comfortably without revving. I mean these bikes do rev to like freaking 10 grand probably. I like it. Yeah, pulls 120, no worries. I'm finding as the motor's running in a bit, it's um, actually getting a bit quicker. That car's been there a while. And the old tank bag's a bit a bit annoying when you're standing up. 
Oh, which way shall I go? I know that way right goes back to Lara. What up, when I go to Lara, do I? She takes a bit of getting used to, it's not a not a nice ride like the uh, V-Strom. Then again, that is a trail bike. Oh, is that a dirt road? I'm going to see where that goes. That's what I like about getting out on the bike, finding roads I haven't been down before. I might end up in anarchy yet. Yeah, so I don't know where I'm going here. I know anarchy's over, over that way somewhere. Yeah, so that's the bike. Got the tank bag on. I made my own wreck for the back and I had this bag sitting around for bloody years. Um, yeah, I went with these Dunlop 605s, actually a really good grip on the road, uh, very soft rubber, I don't think they're going to last very long. I don't know why these, every DRZ I've had, motor sounds like shit. Barely see it that side of my eyes. Not a bad little spot, this. Oh God, it's hard to see. Freaking out, someone camping here. The Punjul Lookout. I'll make my way home across that valley I would never have thought about camping here awesome spot <coughs> all right I'm gonna cut across this valley to Leftbridge That'll take me back home. It's quite a decent descent, this one. And back up the other side we go. I don't know how good the sound will be with this microphone, but I'm just coming in back in the left bridge and I'll head home and um, hopefully the sound is okay on this <coughs> with this microphone it's not an expensive microphone, it's only like $30 $30 one off of eBay I could have bought the well, I was recommended to buy the Rode microphone which was another hundred dollars I mean you just keep spending and spending it where do you stop anyway I'll end this little video here now and um, 
see how it sounds on the computer. Alright guys, over and out. <laughs>